All right, in under five minutes, I'm gonna try to teach you how to make your very first mod. If you want a longer video, I'll leave a link down below to an older video I made that I go a little bit slower, but here we go, baby. Once you have your Giants Editor open up, we're gonna go up to File, and we're gonna to go to New Mod from Game. Once that pops up, you'll get this drop-down menu, and we're gonna scroll until we find the pickup 1986, 87, whatever it is. Now, I've already made another video going over all the settings I use, so if you want to watch that, make sure to go check that out in the link below. Now, we're going to press OK here, and it's going to pop up a little working directory dialog. We're going to copy the name here. Press OK. Actually, before we press OK, we're going to press the three dots. We're going to click on New Folder, wherever we're making our mod at, and we are going to rename that folder to the pickup. And then we will double select that so it opens up the folder and we'll press select folder and it will put all of our documents in there it's going to create it and now we will take a peek at the little folder here and you'll notice we have a mod disk we have a the i3d the shapes file and the xml and a store icon now one of your first steps after we do this is we're going to go up to create and camera from here, we're going to rename this to work camera. And we are going to pay, uh, we are going to press control X to cut it, open this up right here. And we're going to go to the wheels. I like to do it in my wheels, my first tag, and we're just going to paste that in there. Now, right click and go to work camera. Now you are free to move around using the A W D S keys and holding your right mouse click and it'll allow you to move around and not have to worry about the camera position. There is one icon error we need to do, so let's copy the name of this pickup truck right here. Then I need you to open up your XML, and we are going to go to the image tab here and change it and make sure the store pickup 1986 matches the one that we just copied. And you can kind of scroll through here if you want and digest. There's so much code. I don't recommend messing with anything, but if you're going to start making mods, this is definitely the time to start looking and identifying what all this stuff is so let's hit save here all right let's open up our mod disk now and this is going to be your time to shine remember earlier when we copied that icon name we're actually going to make sure that we change that in here as well otherwise we will get an error next we're going to change it to whatever name you want you know obviously this one's going to be simple so it's going to be the pickup and then next we will move on to our description and you could just copy and paste here or put whatever you want my cool mod whatever suits your fancy i mean i can make mods but i can't spell worth crap so after you get done playing around with your description go up to the author and change it to your name your modding name whatever it is you want to do uh, one of the big steps that we need to make sure we do here is change our mod disk number. This is 60, which is really old. I think currently at the time of this video, we're at 79. So after you change all that stuff, just hit save. Earlier in the video, when I created that folder, I created it inside of my mod directory. So if you have farm sim on Steam, you'll have a mods folder. And I actually just created the folder out of there so I can work directly out of the folder while having the game up and do real time modding. If you want to enable your dev commands, I have a video down in the description below, but we're going to open that up before we hit start on our map so we can see any and all errors that might pop up. Just kidding, it's error free and yours should be too. So we can open it up in the store. You'll notice right here it says mod and voila, we have a freaking pickup truck. So go ahead and purchase it now. And this is going to be another point where we open up our dev commands and we're going to look. Now, if you get this error, you did not do the icon trick that I showed you in the video correctly. And it still can't find the store icon. So go back and watch that part of the video and fix it. You can do this process for any vehicle in the game. But my goal for this series is to take this truck and you and we're going to Blender in my future episodes.